Hello everyone, this is Pausch Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are available now. You can find the links in the description of the video. Buy the courses if you haven't done it yet, I would really appreciate your support. I continue showing you the series of videos on working with the basic patterns. Today I'm going to show you something very interesting. I'm going to talk to you about sleeves. There are different types of combined sleeves. We'll start with the most simple one. I'll show you how to make sleeves in case there are yoke both on the back and the front and they run into the sleeves. The center part of the sleeve is one piece and the lower parts are set in in the armholes. This design gives you the opportunity to combine different fabrics and colors. You can use this technique to decorate the garments you sew. If you learn to make such sleeves, your garments won't look simple. This is one of the ways to be different and beautiful. This is a very useful technique. The additional seams make the details stronger, so that they look much better. Having learned this technique, you'll be so proud with yourselves. First, we need to make a sleeve pattern. It's the same as for the raglan sleeve. I need to fold the sleeve pattern in half. Next, we need to measure and mark 1.2 cm to the right from the center sleeve and 7, 9 cm down from the center sleeve. The point should be connected with a slightly round line. Very nice. Sign the front and the back. And then cut the pattern in half. I've already showed you how to do it. You can see that the pattern is the same as for raglan sleeve. But it is not going to be a raglan sleeve, it's going to be a combined sleeve. I can move the pattern aside. Have a close look at the sketch one more time. There is a yoke both on the back and on the front. And they run into a sleeve. The central part of the sleeve is one piece. Next, we need to move the chest dart to make a yoke. If you don't do it, it wouldn't be convenient to you to work with this detail. The yoke should be 6 cm wide. Do not forget to cut the extra piece after moving the opening of the dart. Next, I'm going to draw a yoke. As I've already said, it's going to be 6 cm wide. The sleeve will be one piece from this point. The front is ready. Next, I need to draw a yoke on the back. I'll measure 6 cm in the armhole and 7 cm on the dart level. The best thing to do in this case is to make the dart shorter. This is why I'm drawing the line this way. I'm going to make a straight angle on the center back. This is the best thing to do. The pattern for the yoke is ready. This is how it looks like in this sketch. This is going to be a one-piece yoke on the back. 
What do I need to do next? I want to show you the most convenient sewing techniques. Next, I need to shorten the shoulder dart. This is how it should look like. Please be very attentive. I'm making the dot just 5 mm shorter. It's ok in this case. It will be much more convenient to work this way. I've made the shoulder dart 5 mm shorter and 5 mm tighter. Do not forget to cut the extra piece. If I was working off the camera, I wouldn't have done it in the pattern. I would have just made it right when working with the fabric. Do not forget to cut the extra piece from this bar, 5 mm, because I've added 5 mm to the dart opening. Next, I'm going to cut the yoke. When it's done, I need to close the opening of the shoulder dart. I want to move it here. This is why I've decided to make it a bit smaller. It's big enough. This is absolutely the same dart. It was just moved here. Please be very attentive. It's also possible to move the opening here. It would also be ok. I'll place the opening this way. This is absolutely the same shoulder dart. It will still make the gum and fit the body perfectly. I hope that everything is clear so far. I need to sign the details. The armhole, the shoulder. I can cut the yoke now. This is the yoke, and this is the yoke as well. Have a look here. It's a good thing that I've already prepared the sleeve pattern. There is no extra ease in the pattern. This is what I've done. I've reduced the ease. It should be done when making such sleeves. If your arms are full, you can make a seam in the center sleeve and a dart on the sleeve cup. It would be absolutely ok. This is the front part of the sleeve. It should be attached to the front, just like the raglan sleeve. Attach the pattern in such way that the openings are even. This is a must. Use a sticky tape to attach the details to each other. Next, I need to do the same thing with the back details. I need to measure marks 6 cm down from the center sleeve and draw a line. I remind you that the yoke is 6 cm wide.
I need to do the same thing in the front. 6 cm is the width of the yoke which runs into the sleeve. Next, I need to cut the sleeve. The lower part of the sleeve, this one, is set in. The central part is going to be one piece. Next, I'm going to make one central detail. I need to cut this pattern as well. The yoke runs into the sleeve and the lower part is simple. Next, I'm going to make a new pattern for these one piece details. This is the center sleeve. I'm going to show you how to make a one piece detail. I need to outline these details. This is the center sleeve, this is the dart. When I outline the details, I'm going to throw them away. I'll show you the pattern when it's ready. Such sleeves are very popular nowadays. You can combine different fabrics, different colors, different patterns. As I've already said, this is one of the ways to be different and beautiful. This is the center detail of the sleeve. I'm going to cut it next. I showed you the easiest way for making this pattern. It might seem complicated, but it's actually not. Watch the video several times if you need it. I'm sure that you'll manage to do it. Have a look at this line. This is the center back. This is the line I'm talking about. This is the back neckline. This is the front neckline. If you don't want to make a dart, you can cut the pattern and make a seam here. The front neckline. This is the front. I want to move the opening of the chest dart to the side seam. I'm doing it just for you to see everything clearly. This is the center front. I don't want you to have any questions left. This is the front, the inserted part of the sleeve, the back, the inserted part of the sleeve. It's obvious that first you need to stitch the underarm seam, then stitch the side seam, and only then stitch the sleeve to the armhole. Do not join the underarm and the side seams. I remind you that the underarm seam and the side seam 
do not have to do anything with each other. They do not have to match. This is very important. The front. The back. Here's the yoke. It's going to be stitched this way. To the front and to the back. This is how the pattern looks like now. The front, the sleeve, the back, the sleeve. And this strange detail. Just have a look at it. Is the pattern for the top, the center part of the sleeve. Let's have a look at the sketch once again. Now you know how to make such amazing stylish sleeves. I really want it to be different and beautiful. This is what I'm here for. My name is Pauk Štirina. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.